A question I'd like to ask, and we'll focus on that, is what is the necessary ingredient for awakening of consciousness? And it's one that we miss because it is called listening. Listening with the heart. We can, today we're going to focus on how to listen with the heart. Another way of putting it is opening to the infinite. If we were to take everything to that infinite part of you, which is the now itself, you'll find that everything that is happening, you'll begin to see clearly. Today, I'd like to make it into an experience. So whatever I'm going to say, hopefully you'll be able to experience. <clears throat> Now the, the question that often arises is, why do people don't listen? <clears throat> it's understandable because <clears throat> we listen to our concepts, we listen to our past, we listen to our conditioning. There are three ways of listening. We listen physically, sometimes we listen to the words and we take the words literally. We listen to images of how we see what we are hearing. Did you know that everything that you hear, the moment you hear it, is an image in your mind? Most people are not aware of that. Do you know that every thought is an image? I hold one-on-one -on -one sessions and I've been doing them for many years. And the moment people start to realize that it's all images, and images affect the body, because the body is a cellular memory, it remembers the past. And the moment you begin to see the images you're carrying in you, you begin to release that frozen part of you, you see? Because all emotional pain is that frozen part in your unconscious, and it's released through awareness. And then we have a story, so there are three levels, the physical, the picture making, the imaging, and the story. A story is always present in most of what we hear, and always relating it to the way we've been conditioned to believe. When we look at the world, everybody has a different idea of what the world is, not realizing that your mind has created your own reality. Now, there aren't many realities, of course, it's only one. You know, your true state, which is pure awareness, here now. But, of course, you create your own reality based on how you see the world. And that's based on physical, mental imaging and storyline. Let me give you an example. Suppose um, a man approaches you and he's yelling at you. Okay, he's raving. Okay, physically you see the action, you see the yelling, you see his contortions, whatever, happening, right? Then you see the images. The images is, is he going to hit me? Now it hasn't happened. But in your mind, you can see this when somebody, you have to see it in your mind, okay? Somebody's being angry at you, you feel intimidated. So you see that image of what's going to happen. And in your mind, it's already happening. And then there is a story that goes with it too. The story may be you've been yelled at when you were young. And to you, it's very intimidating. Or maybe you haven't been loved and ignored, which comes up to the same thing. You see? I'm being controlled. It's the same way, let's say you're suffering from loneliness. How do we listen to loneliness? Did you know that you can listen to everything? That's what spirituality is all about. Listening. If you listen to fear, you'll translate it into love. Did you know that? Very few people are aware of that. You can translate every emotional feeling into its purest form through listening. Let's say you're feeling lonely. The moment you feel lonely, there is physical loneliness. There is the placement of you in a locality. I'm lonely in my apartment. I'm lonely walking down the street. I am walking among a lot of people. 
physical. And then there is mental imaging. You see? I feel unloved. I feel there is this the pictures that you have, which are self-image. You see? This is how you see you in that lonely state. Feeling less than there's something wrong. And then there is the story. Oh, the way you have been brought up. Again, we go back to the same thing. The story of how I was treated, how I felt. Maybe I was abandoned and I felt neglected, so therefore I suffer loneliness. Okay? So this is, this is um, happening with everything that we hear. We're not aware of that. Because sometimes, you know, I give a talk and, and people ask me the very same thing I've been covering and they raise a question when something I have covered it detail by detail, but then they ask a question seeing clearly that of course it hasn't been heard. Because the mind went off on a tangent on how they saw what I was saying, you know, a particular thing. You see? Okay. So, so this is the reason. The, the reason we do not listen, not only because of the the concepts that we have and the storyline and the images, but also there's another thing. We have invested our whole life in this ego that we think we own, which we think we are. And because we've invested our whole energy, when you begin to face the truth of you, when you have to do away with the physical, the image and the storyline, you put them aside, what do you have? What have you got left? Maybe a sensation that's left with you, just a, just a regular feeling, just a moment, momentary feeling. You see? But that scares you, because you mean, this is all I am in this moment? But if you were to put it all aside, you'll begin to realize something very beautiful. Because the moment that all images, all stories, are put aside, all you're left with is just the sensation of the moment, whatever that was. Do you understand? Because everything is felt in the body. Everything is experienced in the body. Did you know that every emotion has a movement in your body? And if you start listening through body awareness, you'll know it. Sometimes if you see something you, that excites you immediately, your heart responds, maybe a faster beat. Your, beat, your breathing changes. See, whether you see something you love or something you fear, the breathing changes. So the body is constantly responding to the stimuli of what is being received. You stay with that without a story, without an image, and without physical equivalent of it that, that your mind made up, or what you see. And you stay with that sensation alone. The moment you stay with that basic feeling, just as it is, and you look at it without judging it, good or bad, right or wrong, something happens. And I hope that we can experience it later on. Something happens inside you. What is it that happens? What is it that happens, Bill? When everything well, is taken away? You've got an uh, uh, expansion of space and the energy moves uh, and dissipates and... That's, that's joy, very good. When you stay with something and you don't judge it, good or bad, yeah, you, you go you're into a space into an emptiness. See, that is scary for somebody who wants to be something and somebody. But in truth, you are experiencing your pure aware state at that moment. You just are. And the moment you allow that space to be, you will find that the judgments that you made on it are now completely changing. And you enter, and you enter a different state. Why do you enter a different state? Because when there are no stories, when there are no judgments, when there are no physical embodiment of anything, it's just pure being. That is what love is. 